So there was a great question in the Zoho community forums asking about adding custom fields to an account record, but also sort of asking about how can I do that to a related list? So I thought this was a great opportunity for a quick video. So let's break it down. Okay, so here I am in a demo CRM account. And the question is, person wants to add custom fields to an account record, but they want to put them in their own section. Now we know that within the details section of an account record, we can create other sections like account information, address information. You can add your custom fields and add custom sections, but they were thinking that you would be able to sort of create a new section down below and sort of have that as a navigatable section down the left hand side similar to contacts and deals and notes and that sort of thing and that's not quite what a related list is in zoho crm so i thought this would be a great chance to explain what a custom related list is and that really brings us or introduces us to the concept of custom modules in zoho crm so let's talk through a quick scenario of why you might want a custom module in zoho crm that also creates a related list under say an account record. So it's when you're trying to track a one to many type of situation. Now people that work in databases instantly know what that means, but for the rest of us normal people, let me try to explain. So let's just use a perfect simple example. On an account record, which is a company, you have contacts built into the system. There's a contacts module and a contacts related related list. And the reason for that is at a company, a company can have multiple people working there. So instead of having fields in the actual account record, person one name, person number two name, person number three name, instead we have a different module called contacts. And then each of those contacts are then related back to an account record. And so that allows you to have a situation where a single account can have multiple contacts. So we already have a contact here. I can add a new contact to the account. Okay, and now we have one to many relationship, one account and multiple or many contacts. So let's use a custom scenario. So there's so many examples, but a few things that come to mind. Let's say you wanted to track, let's say you sell pieces of equipment and you want to track what equipment you've sold to which customers and a single customer can buy multiple pieces of equipment so it obviously would not make sense to create fields right in the account record in the details section for equipment number one equipment number two equipment number three because you would be creating so many fields you would have a really hard time to create any meaningful reports or analytics or filters because all of your information is spread across multiple fields. And then each piece of equipment has other attributes that you would like to track, like the date that it was purchased, that each equipment was purchased, or the name of the equipment, the model number, serial number, you know, all the little details that might be associated with that piece of equipment. And so that really brings us into a custom module. So let me show you how to create a custom module how to relate it back to an account record, and we'll just go through it step by step. So what I'm doing is I'm going to my setup area, going into my customization, modules and fields, and here I'm going to create a new module. We can give this new module whatever name we want. In this case, I'm going to call it equipment. You have the option of, give, of giving it different names for singular, like equipment versus equipments, right? Which I don't even know if that's a word. So we're just going to call both of them equipment. And then here we have a handful of fields that Zoho just kind of starts you off with every time you create a custom module. Now we have no need to have email and uh, email and email opt out. So some of these fields I'm going to just remove from the screen and get rid of because we're not going to need them. So we'll get rid of those three fields. Now every custom module has to have what they call a name field. So equipment name, you have two options here. I don't want to get too deep into some of this, but essentially this can either be a regular text field. So you just type the name of the equipment. That's fine. Or you can set the field to be a sort of auto numbering field. So I prefer to always use auto numbering fields in most cases. So in this case, we might prefix each piece of equipment with EQP 
and then the starting number might be let's make it a thousand okay and so what will happen is you will create a piece of equipment the first one you add to the system will be eqp a thousand and then a thousand one a thousand two a thousand three and what that does is it just gives you a nice unique identifier for every piece of equipment or whatever thing you're adding to the system that and that can come into play later as an advantage when doing different things so anyway now we have to start putting into this module the fields that we want to track about each piece of equipment so we've already got the auto numbering equipment name. Now I'm gonna change the name of that from equipment name to equipment number because that would be a more accurate description. Now I wanna track things like, let's call this model name, okay? So that would be a free text field. Then maybe we want a pick list field in here for something like manufacturer. And then in your pick list you can Put in your manufacturers names you know manufacturer one manufacturer two obviously you put real names in here right create your pick list we can also add sections here right so we can add another section and we might drag some of these sort of built-in stock zoho fields down here and get them out of the way let's also put a date field in here so let's say uh, purchase date we'll call this all right, so let's, we could add as many fields as we want here. This is good enough for our demonstration. Now there's one field that I haven't added yet that is really the key to the whole related list thing, okay? So we've got this piece of equipment that we're able to type in information about, but how do we relate it back to the customer who purchased this equipment? That is where we use something called a lookup field. So on the left-hand side, field called lookup, which I'm going to drag and drop over here. A lookup field is used to relate data from one module to another. And so we are in the custom module of equipment. We are going to add a lookup field and we're going to call that field account name. So this will represent the customer that this piece of equipment is tied to. You pick the module that you want to be linking to. So in this case, we're picking the accounts module. And then here is the key here, related list title. What this means is when you're looking at an account, this is how the equipment related list will be labeled down the left-hand side of your account record. So in this case, we could just keep it simple. Let's just call it equipment. Some other stuff here I'm not gonna get into. So for right now, we're just gonna click done and save and close. We have to grant whatever access permissions to this new module to users, which we'll just do and click save. All right, so now we have our new custom equipment module and that will create a new tab up at the top called equipment. Right now we have no equipment. Let's just enter a piece of equipment in here. So we're gonna create a new piece of equipment. Let's say it was purchased today. Now we can go and look up the customer that this piece of equipment belongs to. So let's go to that same account we were looking at earlier. Model name, let's just call this our widget 2000, manufacturer, and I will be the equipment owner, and then we will save this record. All right, so now we have a piece of equipment added to the system. A custom module record is its own full record, right? So right now we're looking at a detailed view of that piece of equipment. So we have all the fields that we just created here, we have even activities and emails and attachments and notes and things that we can do with this custom record, but you do not need to use those things. You can keep it simple. If we look at our piece of equipment or equipment listing here, you get your fields from left to right, and you can also add your lookup fields to this listing. So let's say I want to see the, the equipment number, who the customer is, what the model and manufacturer are something like this, okay, and then save. So this module is nice because you can go to one place and get all your look at all the equipment that you've ever sold to all customers in one place. You can filter, you can do whatever, but then also if we go to a customer record, so we're gonna go to this account record here, you'll see now down the left-hand side, we have a new related list called equipment and it's indicating that we have one piece of equipment with this customer. We can click on that equipment it scrolls down to the bottom and we can see the details. Now you have to tell the system what fields you wanna see here. So all right now we're only seeing the equipment number. So we click this little widget over here 
and we can select the things like model name, manufacturer, purchase date, whatever else we want to see here, and click Save. So this customer has one piece of equipment. Here are the details. We can add another piece of equipment if we like. If we add this new piece of equipment from the customer record, it will automatically fill in the account name for us because it knows we want to relate this new piece of equipment to this customer. So I'm going to put in uh, another piece of equipment here. And now you'll see we have down in the equipment section two pieces of equipment under this customer. This is the proper way to track any custom information that you want to track when there's a one-to-many type of situation. I hope this helps. Have a great day.